Good evening, sir. And Merry Christmas. The clock just hit 12 a.m. a little bit ago, so you woke up just in time to receive your Christmas present. That would be the two of us. Two loyal, obsessively loving, and devoted maids. Just like you wrote to Santa about. Consider that next time someone says Santa isn't real. We also got you a new lock for your door, by the way. Since your old one was super easy to get through. Allow us to introduce ourselves. My name is Sophia. And my name is Donna. Let me just say it's such a pleasure to finally meet you. When we heard we were finally going to be able to see you, we just couldn't contain ourselves. We've been anticipating you so much that every single one of our dreams have been about you. Some of them were even wholesome. We kept on eagerly counting down the days until Christmas, and now it's finally here! Now we finally have you all to ourselves. In bed with us. No less. And of course, you finally have us all to yourself as well, sir. Or maybe you don't like being called sir. Maybe you'd prefer it if we called you a good boy? It's just that when I look at you, the first thing that comes to mind is how you're such a good boy. I mean, you've got such a lovely taste. Wanting the two of us, it makes us want you right back. More than you could ever imagine. And I'm sure there's so many ways you can imagine us wanting you. <laughs> Aww, look at you blush, sweetheart. You're such a good boy. I just want to give you kisses all over, on every inch of your skin, every last inch. So, what do you think, boss? Are we to your liking? I picked out the cutest maid outfits I could find, because you deserve the cutest mates. So, I hope you like it. If not, I could change it. Maybe to something more showy if you'd like. I'd change anything for you, sir. Outfits, hairstyles, even my name. Anything. I just want to be someone you can love. So feel free to pick our outfits. Or lack thereof. <laughs> Isn't she just adorable, darling? Not as adorable as you, of course. There's no competing with my good boy, but she's such a sweetie, just like you. She's even such a sweetie that I'm sure she'd love to cuddle you. It can get cold on Christmas, after all. We've got to keep our good boy warm. I really would, sir. I'd love to cuddle you and keep you warm. That is, if you're all right with it. Oh, he's much more than all right with it, sweetie. Just look at that expression. I'm sure he can't wait to get his hands on you. Or my hands on him. Go ahead, sir. I'm all yours. I love you more than anything has been ever loved, so I'll do anything to be a good girl for you. So you can be the big spoon if you'd like. In fact, I'd really like it if you would. And that's a bit of an understatement. I'd kill to be your little spoon. I'd even start digging the holes right now. And I just can't wait to be the big spoon for my precious good boy. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. I have the softest skin of any woman. Ever, you know? I'm even softer than Sophia. Well, I wouldn't say she's softer than me, sir. But why don't you find out for yourself? You can feel how soft we are by cuddling us. 
here. Let me get into position for you. Just to be your little spoon, I mean. And let me tightly wrap my arms around you. Just like this. You're so cuddly, sweetie. And when I hold you like this, it makes me the happiest woman in the world. Knowing you're all mine. He's mine too, Donna. Right. Right. Our precious good boy belongs to the both of us. But just the two of us. You know what would happen if other girls tried to take you away from us, don't you, darling? I'm sure you do. You didn't ask for a pair of normal maids, did you? No. You asked for the most obsessive, devoted maids ever. You asked for us. And nothing could make us happier. Hey, why don't you be a good boy and tell me which one of us is softer? Me or Sophia? I think you need to put your hands on me a bit more to get a more accurate picture, sir. Here, let me guide your hands. Right over here. I'm all yours, so you can put them wherever you want, you know. You won't fall for Sophia's tricks, will you? You can tell us the truth, boss. You think we're both just as soft as each other? You sure do love to tease your maid, sweetie. But that just riles me up more. It just makes me want you even more. It makes me want to chain you forever and ever so that you can never escape me. So that you can never get away from me. Personally, I'd rather be chained by you, sir. But I can see where Dawn is coming from. I don't ever want to be separated from you. I want to stay with you forever. Every second of every hour of every day. Even when you're sleeping. Or eating. Or working. I never want to be apart from you. So, if there's anything I can do to make you keep me around, just let me know. You know I'll do anything for you. I'll sing about how much I love you until my voice goes out. I'll hug you until my arms fall off. I'll even wear a collar with your name on it for you. Well... Okay, that last one is more for me than for you, but still, I'll do anything for you. Don't worry, Sophia, sweetie. I'm sure he wants to keep you around. It's easy to see how excited he is. And I'm not just talking about his expression. Maybe it would excite you a bit more if I hugged you tighter. I know a good boy like you can take it. And besides, I'm sure you're dying to know just how tight I can be. Don't forget about me, boss. You can hug me super tightly if you'd like. It makes me feel wanted by you. You can hug me as tightly as you can. I won't mind. I'm a good girl. I could take it. I feel like I have to repay you. You're making me so happy, since you're spoiling me. Even just by looking at me, you're spoiling me. That's so much I love you. That's how obsessed I am with you. That's how much I want you, and how much I want you to want me. It makes me feel so guilty to be this spoiled. And I'm not just feeling guilty over the tracker I put on your phone while you were sleeping. But there's that too, I guess. I feel like I don't deserve you, sir. And you're so wonderful, so precious, so heartwarming that I don't think I'll ever be able to deserve you. But I want to come as close as deserving you as possible. She really does, sweetie. 
She tries her hardest to be a good girl for you. You know she tried on over a hundred different maid outfits before coming here. Because she was so obsessed with looking as good as possible for you. I still have the pictures. I can show you later. Some of them are even innocent. My favorite is the one with the cat cut out, actually. You told me you deleted those photos. You'll thank me later, Sophia. And so will he. I'm sure our good boy here is letting his imagination run wild. But you don't have to imagine, darling. We're right here. If there's anything you want to see us in. If there's anything you want us to do. All you have to do is ask nicely, like a good boy. We're your devoted maids, after all. Yeah, all you have to do is ask, boss. Not even nicely in my case. So, my sweet boy, is there anything you'd like to ask us to do? Any need you need satisfied? You want me to play with your hair? Well, okay. That's certainly a lot more innocent than what I was expecting. But still, that's so cute of you to ask. You're really such a cutie. So cute. So pure. So innocent. It just makes me just want to pin you down, since Sophia here isn't going to do it. Uh, I'd pin him down if he wanted me to. I mean, I'd probably pout while I did it, but I'd still do it. If he wants to get pinned down, then that's what he has me for, sweetie. But speaking of sweeties, let me get started on caressing your hair, okay? A good boy like you deserves attention like this. You can play with mine too, boss. And I'm not just talking about my hair. What are you talking about, Sophia? Your ears? Your fingers? The audio recordings you took of him breathing? Whatever could you be talking about? You know what I mean. Don't be a tease. Oh, I'm not a tease, sweetie. Don't listen to her, okay? I'm not a tease. Because you know I'll always go all the way for you. I'll give you everything you want. And I might even teach you a few things along the way. What are you going to teach him? Math? Science? How you watched him for seven hours until he woke up? Sophia, sweetie, you've got to learn to tease better than that. And besides, you were watching him too, so don't play that card with me. You do have a point there. Darling, my sweet boy, you have such wonderful hair. It's so soft. And it feels amazing to run my fingers through. I hope it feels amazing for you too. My good boy deserves to be pampered like this. Our good boy. Right. Our good boy. Jeez, now you've got me saying good boy too. You'll learn to love saying it. Our good boy here sure does love hearing it. Isn't that right, darling? I thought so. Well, like I was saying before, Sophia interrupted me. You really have such lovely hair. It's like it was made for my hands. Like it was made just for me to run my fingers through. So I was wondering if I could keep a few strands for myself. And I'm sure Sophia would like a few as well. Yes. Yes, I would. 
I definitely want some from you, sir. Thanks for looking out for me, Donna. Anytime, sweetie. So, what do you say, darling? Do you think you could spare us a few strands of your hair for Sophia and me? It would mean the world to us. Having a part of you that we could always keep on hand. We could even put in a little heart-shaped locket that we could wear around our necks. Wouldn't that be so romantic, sir? And it is Christmas after all. It's the season to give. So please give it to us, sir. Uh, some of your hair, I mean. It doesn't have to be right now, since we wouldn't want to interrupt this little cuddling session. Believe me, I certainly don't. Not when you feel this good. But maybe later? What do you say, boss? That's a good boy. Thank you so much. You're so generous to us, sir. But you've got to be careful, okay, precious? If you're always such a generous boy, we might start getting greedy. If you always give me what I want, who knows what I could ask for? Who knows what I could ask you to give me? I might just take advantage of this opportunity. What are you going to ask him to give you, Donna? His phone? His shirt? A raise? <sighs> Sophia, sweetie, we talked about this already. Besides, I'm not going to ask him for a raise. Because I could never charge my good boy for the pleasure of taking care of him. Because you're such a cutie. Playing with your hair is all the pay I'll ever need. I work for free too, sir. But I do accept payment at hugs or cuddles. And also some less savory things. Like, maybe... His old toothbrushes? Actually, I was going to say kisses on the cheek. And don't act like I'm the unsavory one here, Donna. You're the one who asked for some of his hair. <laughs> I was just teasing you, Sophia. There is no need to be defensive. And don't put any blame on me. Especially when you want some of his hair, too. But we don't have to worry about coming off as unsavory to him. Our precious darling here accepts the both of us. He asked for us, after all, because he's so sweet, so lovely, so intoxicating, because he's our precious, good boy, and he'll be with us forever. Now, doesn't that just sound wonderful? That's the best Christmas gift a girl could ever ask for. I still want the hair, though. Well, it's a good thing the boss is so generous to us, then. I'll have to give you everything and more to try and return the favor, sir. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, my sweet boy. Mm -hmm.